Today, I will tell you a story about the forest of diversity, this is a story for teaching tolerance to children. Once upon a time there was a forest full of life and color where many different animals lived. Each one had their own talent and way of being. Rabbits, foxes, owls, squirrels and many other animals lived in this forest. One day, a new inhabitant arrived in the forest, a family of raccoons. Raccoons were different from other animals, they were nocturnal and preferred to search for food at night. The other animals did not understand why the raccoons were so different and began to avoid them. Max the rabbit, who was very curious, decided to investigate. One night, while the moon was shining in the sky, he followed the raccoons and watched them search for berries and nuts under the starlight. He noticed that the raccoons were very hardworking and friendly, they just had a different schedule. The next day, Max tried to tell his friends what he had seen, but they wouldn't listen. Raccoons aren't like us, said Olivia the squirrel. They are strangers and we should not trust them. Max felt sad and decided to talk to the wise owl, who always gave good advice. The owl listened to him attentively and said, Max, intolerance comes from not understanding differences. We must learn to know and respect all the inhabitants of the forest. That night, Max had an idea. He organized a big night party in the forest clearing and invited all the animals, including the raccoons. The daytime animals were a little nervous, but they accepted the invitation. As night fell, the animals arrived at the clearing and saw the bright lights of the fireflies and the delicious berries and nuts that the raccoons had collected. The raccoons welcomed everyone with smiles and shared their food. Daytime animals began to see raccoons differently. They realized that although raccoons were different, they also had wonderful things to offer. They danced, ate and had fun together all night. At the end of the party, Olivia the squirrel approached Max and said, You were right, Max raccoons are cool. I'm sorry I was so intolerant. Max smiled and replied, We are all different, and that is what makes our forest so special. If we learn to accept and respect our differences, we can live in harmony. From that day on, the forest animals learned to be more tolerant and accepted the raccoons as part of their community. The forest became a place of diversity and respect, where everyone lived happily and in peace.